And guys, thanks for joining me in this video. With this video, we'll be going through step-by-step -step how to install this DSC system. This is their brand new Neo system. Um, this will be a three-part video. Video one will be about installing the system. Video two will be about programming the system. And video three will be about learning how to use the system. So let's start by laying out our can. So first we want to use a level. I couldn't find a smaller level so I end up using my larger level. So you get your panel pretty close to being level. And you circle your center hole. You circle your screw holes. So now that we have the can mounted, it's time to start installing your devices. So next we're going to install our wireless transceiver. This is their wireless receiver. It's called a transceiver because it can do two-way communication. So you can have a wireless keypad communicating back with this panel. You can only have one receiver. Um, it's rated to do 1.2 mile line of sight. Um, wireless and you can add repeaters to extend the signal now what I like about this uh, receiver is it, it comes with an actual level inside so it makes mounting much easier It's actually a different design with these keypad. Take a screwdriver, pry it out on this side. Again, pry it out. Previously, the door was on the actual back of the keypad. And now it's on the actual keypad. Not sure why they went with that design. So I'm gonna find the location that I would like my security keypad to be installed. Again, this is where my wire's coming in. So I'm going to install three wireless devices today. I just mounted this uh, wireless contact. This is normally open and normally closed. So I've already taken the motion detector apart. Just gonna get it mounted. Snaps in place, put your cover on, tighten up the screw at the bottom. And also we have the slimline contact. We'll be installing this as well. So I'll probably place this down here. So I would like to install contacts as if we were doing regular windows and doors. So let's say our window is here. So we'll call this one zone one and zone two. the magnet we'll take our next magnet our next contact so first thing first we're going to wire up these contacts
So now that we've wired up our contacts, now we're at the panel, we're getting ready to wire up zone one. Zone one going to Z1. And the other wire going to the common. Now you can't get this backwards, so you'll be fine no matter which way you put the wire. The contacts have no polarity, so it doesn't matter where you put the, the actual wire. Um, let's wire up zone two now. Zone one and zone two, they both share the same common. Wiring the panel from left to right, we're going to start by plugging in the battery lead. So once you plug that in, the next thing you will plug in is the AC. AC stands for alternate current. That's where you will plug your transformer. One important thing to do when you twist, when you're getting ready to plug your wire in, is making sure that you have your wire twisted and that no strand is hanging off the wire so now we're going to plug it into AC there is no polarity on AC if this was DC then it will have polarity with AC there is no polarity it's alternate current Just want to make sure that there's no strand from one to the other side because you will blow your transformer if they touch. Your auxiliary lead, this is if you wanted to power up a device like a motion detector or something you needed to power. You have 12 volts coming out of here. Your bell, this is where you power your siren from. We're going to hook that up now. Sirens are polarity sensitive and they will not work if you reverse the polarity. So red goes positive and black goes to negative. All right, next we're gonna wire up the keypad bus. All the keypads go on the same terminal in parallel. Plug in your red. It actually will tell you which color to plug in on the keypad and on the board. Black, yellow, if you didn't have a yellow and it was white, it's the same thing, use white for yellow, green for green, and green. So next, we're gonna wire up our wireless transceiver. That also goes on the keypad bus. So you're gonna do the same thing. Red. Black, yellow, and green. Again, you can only have one receiver on this panel. You can have up to 16 keypads on this panel. Now in a normal installation, you would definitely wanna have your RJ31X. It probably come with your kit, depending on which kit you pick up from DSC. So, I'm just gonna show you how to wire it. Like, just think about it as the wire coming from your phone service, whether it's AT&T or Comcast, whoever you have. Just plug her in right here. This is your incoming line from the street. 
or your service in. And this is your service out. When I say service out, I mean from the alarm panel to the main house. The alarm panel always get the phone line first so that if someone is on the phone and the alarm panel need to call out, the alarm panel takes priority of the phone line. That is what you call line seizure. So let's install our battery. This is a seven amp power battery. Now this battery here will last approximately seven hours, depending on what's being powered off the panel. Um, I would not power plug the battery in until you have your transformer plug in, but let's go ahead and plug one leg of the battery in. And whenever we plug in our transformer, we just plug the other leg in. So we'll bring the wire in for the keypad. We'll go through how to wire this keypad. So if you realize what's on the back of the keypad, you have the red, the black, the yellow, the green, same as on the panel. Plug your keypad in, and it should just snaps in place. Next, we're going to wire up the transceiver. Bring the wire through the back. You have your red, your black, your yellow, your green. So now you want to put your cover on. Now we've successfully wired our panel. It's time to hook up the transformer. And if you notice on the transformer, it has load across these two pins. So that's where you're going to put your AC. This one is a ground pin, so you can literally run your ground from the panel that we just put in to this terminal. Now, the way I would recommend you wiring this is you're turning your screw this way, all right? So you want to make sure you're going the same way, which is clockwise, with your screw. Take your wire that way. Now you do the same on this side. Because if you go the other way, when you start tightening it up, what's going to happen is you're going to start loosening up the, uh, the wire. So now we're ready to plug this in. I guess I could cut this off a little bit because you know you don't you really don't want this much sticking off of here. Um, you want it to kind of stop right up in here somewhere. So it's a bad example on my end. So now it's time to plug the transformer in and see the panel power up. Just gonna plug this in. As you see, there's power. There it is, it powered up. Now is the time you go ahead and you plug your 
your battery in. Red goes to red and black goes to black. So now that you have your battery in, let's go ahead and make sure there's no wire hanging outside of your panel when you close it up because you don't want anything falling out on you. And another thing is when you're doing a system, you always document what you're doing. So here's my transceiver. I have a wireless motion, a wireless contact that has, you can put terminals on here. Like as when I say terminals, I mean you can put some of these uh, contact on here. You can make this normally open or close. You have a regular vanishing contact here and these are just your traditional windows and door contacts. Just make sure you document your paperwork and I would suggest you leave it in your panel so whenever you need to work on it, this is where your document would be. I have a siren here which is a flush mounted siren that I have. Um, it's going to the bell terminal. As you can see the security right now is showing open zones because it doesn't see any resistor along the line. So in our next video we will be programming this and we have, we're going to make everything that you see here works. So now that we're all done with our installation we're going to put our panel cover on the cabinet. Just goes on and drops down and uh, take a little screw and put it in the top. You can also install the lock if you want to purchase that. That's separate. It doesn't come with the system. Again, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next video.